Shepard. And I'm Kato LeBay. We are here at the Wildcat Stadium right now, ahead of the Hanville versus Destrehan football game, known as the Battle on the River. And we are counting down every single second. The energy here tonight is incredible, and we, here down on the track, can feel the roaring crowd. Now, let's take a look at the respective team stats. Hanville is currently 2-2 two two with a recent 17-10 win against the uh, North Shore Panthers. Now, the coaches say they've been trying even harder to win this game and break the Destrehan winning streak. Destrehan is now 4-0, making them the team to beat. Last week, they played East Ascension High with a knockout score of 42-2. Now, the Battle on the River game is a highly anticipated game every single year. Students take part in Rivalry Week, and many carry on the tradition long after high school. Team members Noah Martin and Allie Morgan spoke with the coaches of both teams and community members about the powerful history of Battle on the River. The West Bank versus East Bank rivalry has been going on since the early 90s. This annual game between Hanville and Destrehan has been come to known as the Battle on the River game. Destrehan won their first championship in 1941 and has been the team to watch ever since. Uh, I was a defensive coordinator here at Destrehan uh, 2016-17 and before coming here I was the head coach at um, John Arrett as well as uh, Wes Jefferson. We've won the last two since I've been here. Obviously it's different players and, and different coaches on the sideline but I think that the rivalry um, still remains. It's very important to a lot of people on both sides of the river. Hanville won their first championship in 1949 and have made it to the playoffs for more than 20 years straight. I have coached for Hanville. This would be my third year as head coach, uh, fourth year here. I came in 2019 as an offense coordinator. Um, I do realize what this game stands for when it comes to a rivalry in this community, in this parish, but for us it's just another step towards our goal. Uh, which is always to win a district championship, put ourselves in the playoffs for an opportunity to win a state championship. Battle on the River continues to hold a place in people's hearts long after high school. I went to Destrain from 2004 to 2008. This game lives strong in our community. I have been out of high school for almost 14 years, and I still go to every Hanville Destrain game. The Battle on the River game is a sentimental game for both sides and has a huge positive impact on the community. I was number 58. I played line, outside linebacker. Uh, I played in 2010 and 2011. The Battle of the River game, it, it does affect the mood of, of the rest of the season, especially in that moment because it's a game that, you know, you know some of these guys on the other team. And uh, it's just a little personal, you know, so it, it, a, a lot of times it will determine, you know, how the rest of your season plays out. But there's a lot riding on this game a lot of the year. The Battle on the River game has been and will continue to be an annual competition between the East and the West Bank. Will Hanbo pull through or will Destrehan's winning streak continue? All right, tonight we'll find out who wins the big game, but one thing is for sure, the, supports, the support from both sides of this river is very strong. Kickoff tonight is at 7 p.m., and the winners for the Pink Link campaign will be announced at halftime tonight. And remember, you can watch all of this live at PressThePlay.tv. Two rivals, one mission. Think pink and buy a link. And here we at Press Play Productions thought that you might like a glimpse from behind the scenes. My fellow team member Jackson Coyle and I will take you behind the scenes into the hard work that goes behind this game every single year. Tonight, many people of St. Charles Parish will participate in a long-lasting tradition. Two football teams on each side of the Mississippi River will compete against each other for the Battle on the River. While the community anticipates this game against Hanville and Destrehan High Schools, how are the people on the front lines feeling? Destrehan is going into this game 3-0. Coach Marcus Scott speaks on what he expects from his team. Our run game is something that we um, that we take a lot of pride in. We've had to, to fill some holes um, 
from from last year's team, but I think the kids are playing uh, really hard. Now that we've seen one side of the river, let's take a look at the West Bank and how Hanville is improving every single yeah, day. Yeah, really can't focus on what, what they're doing. Um, mm -hmm. It's really about what we do. Uh, each day, they have been experience for our kids. You know, each game, each day in practice, um, you know, it's just going to be just another step. Mm -hmm. And it's just another growing you know, step for us as part of the process. Many people often look at the coaches for the games, but what new emotions can we see from the players on the field? We always prepare a little, a little more, a little harder, you know, things of that nature when we play Hanville. So I'll, I'll be prepared. We'll be prepared. Um, do you think you'll win? Definitely. Play the best we can. Um, play as a team, play as a family. Coach staff, the right players for us. Uh, and we just dominate. This game sees both teams getting ready for one of the biggest matchups of the year, where many will be watching. Soon we will see whose preparations have paid off and who will be working even harder for the next season. As you can see, both teams have been preparing significantly for tonight's game. Now not only this, another thing fans have their eyes on tonight is going to be the Pink Link campaign. It is an effort led by the Satellite Center Health Science Courses bringing rivals together for a very good cause. And I'm joined with medical assistant team member Kylie Posey. Kylie, tell us a little bit about the Pink Links competition and what your classes have been doing. Well, the Pink Links competition is a competition between the two sides of the river to raise the most money for breast cancer awareness. It's really important tradition, and in order to start our fundraising this year, we came together with a few ideas, including a car wash and other sales in order to raise money. That's very nice. What is the importance of buying a Pink Link? It's important to buy a Pink Link because it's a community effort. It's not really about being one side of the river or another. It's about coming together as a parish to raise money for breast cancer awareness. That's really sweet. How much money in total has been raised so far? Well, I can't give you a number, but I can say that it's going to be in the thousands. Make sure to stay tuned and watch at halftime for the reveal. Thank you so much for joining us, Kylie. When we come back, we'll hear from those who were once on the team and those now leading them. We'll also check in on the groups that keep the spirit of the battle alive. We'll be right back. The Haunted History Hike is being overseen by the teams at the Satellite Center, each class offering different skills to make the event a success. The Hotel, Restaurant, and Tourism course is helping plan and organize the event. Technical Theater is crafting the costumes, makeup sets, and props to bring this event to life. Pro Start plans to prepare food for the guests. Educators Rising is creating family-friendly activities for the hike. The sculpture class is making Halloween-themed decorations, and the interactive and digital media classes are creating the logos to promote this event. Come out on Saturday, October 15th from 6 to 9 p.m. at the East Bank Bridge Park for the Haunted History Hike. And the crowd isn't the only group getting pumped up for this game. Some of these coaches who are on this field tonight have been preparing for this game for years. Yeah, some of them even played on this field themselves years ago. Caselyn Allen and Joseph McClinton take a dive into the differences of preparing the game from the past to the present. 35 years ago, Jason Smothers ran the ball at Desheran High School, and now he's back running the game as an offensive line coach. As far as playing the, playing the position and coaching the position, you know a little bit about it. You're able to help the guys focus a little more, and you're able to give them a little more detail and be able to use your experiences as a player to help you coach and put your guys in the best position to be successful every Friday. Back then, Coach Mothers helped his team beat Hanville, and now he is hoping to lead the Desherans' current players to the same result more than three decades later. Well, it's always a big challenging week, you know, playing your rivals. So, you know, just another, another week to prepare and just try to make it another game, but it's never just really another game because you're playing your rivals and you never want to lose to your rivals. So, Sophomore Reese Johnson says he and his team are ready to send those Tigers back to the west side of the river. Basically going 100% at practice with the ones and stuff like that, just to get reps and like mental reps, getting mental reps with the ones and stuff like that. So, yeah. And on the other side of the river, Coach Jason Benson is preparing a brand new generation of football players. After winning against Destrehan 3-1 during his time at Homeville in 2013, he's hoping to put the Tigers back on top. From my time playing and the kids now, it's like the generation different. You know, we did a lot more physical things than they do now. So right now, I don't think it's just getting the kids in better shape, better condition, and playing. Uh, going course the game instead of being so much physical. So now just taking care of our kids' body, 
making sure the next man up. Because when one person gets hurt, the next man got to be ready to play. So we get everybody involved this year. Senior football player Sincere Simmons reflects on his last year playing football with a group he calls family. This is the last time I'm uh, playing against some of those probably some of those kids over there probably. And uh, it's very fun to get, to get. It's very fun. And now, on the turf, Hallville and Desheran come face to face. The football teams are the only ones bringing their A game to the Battle on the River. Chris Nesbitt and Nari Hines take a look into the spirit groups and how they have been getting ready to bring the energy to the game. The Battle on the River football game is a huge part of St. Charles Parish's sports culture, but behind the scenes are the spirit groups preparing to make the crowds go wild. It wouldn't be the Battle of the River without spirit groups. Uh, we're like It's definitely one of those things that just changes in the way that you feel. Cheerleading also plays a major role in football games and keeps the stands energetic. Allie Dodd Dufrin has been a Hallville High School cheerleader since her freshman year, and a significant part of her responsibility is making sure the crowd is involved during the game. Seeing the little girls trying to copy the dances or the cheers that we're doing really gets me excited, and it gives me like the feeling that I am getting them involved. They notice me, they notice the spirit that I'm trying to give them and they're giving it back to me. The most important piece of the cheer team spirit is their family dynamic. And the same goes for the dance teams. Rebecca Scott, one of Destrahan's Desti Darlings, takes pride in the fact that she's able to collaborate with Hallville's High Steppers for such a special event. The Desties have actually been meeting with the High Steppers because we are performing together for the first time since COVID-19. Uh, we've practiced at both Destrahan and Hallville. These practices last about three hours, and we are so excited to be able to take the field this Friday with our best friends at the High Steppers. The Desties are state champs and never forget to show their school spirit in their performances. But they aren't the only ones who are keeping the energy high in the stands. Jayla Lewis is a flag runner at Hallville who feels more than just adrenaline on the field. The laughs and the cheers, especially when the uh, team either makes a mistake or a touchdown, it brings joy to me actually. Like, hearing the crowd like, show so much support for the football games. The energy the flag runners bring to the viewer section is unmatched, and along with them is the band. Destrahan band director Chris Williams takes pride in the musical art that he and his band members experience with their fellow spirit groups. The opportunity to share our craft with everyone else that we, we get to go to these events with. Um, you know, I always talk with the students, like, being able to share our art form is a special thing in itself. Spirit groups like these have become a significant part of the Battle on the River game. And regardless of the school, they all come together to make sure the liveliness of the games is amplified. Just some quick reminders. Today at 7 p.m., the kickoff starts. The P. Inklings campaign will be shown at halftime. And you can watch all of this live at PressThePlay.tv. You can also check out our social media online. We are on Instagram and Twitter at PressThePlay. For Press Play Productions, I'm Caleb Shepard. And I'm Kayla LeBay. Thank you for joining us tonight. Good morning, Destrahan and Hanville. Tonight, it is a wonderful night to have a great football game. We are here at Destrahan Stadium with Hanville, and we'll be, the two rivals will be facing off in the Battle of the River. And I'm your host, Kayla LeBay, with Press the Play Productions. Now it seems like they're about to do the coin toss.
Foster here. My name is Caleb Shepard, and I'll be your color commentary tonight. The plays are going on. It's going to be closer to you. Dude, it's walking up here. It was insane to see, like, Every, I mean, like, people were, like, yelling at each other and stuff. Well, the it's, whole crowd is riled up. I know. It's, like, it's the, the rivalry is insane. You I've, have to white out, the ti uh, white out the Wildcats and black out the Tigers. Yeah. <laughs> what if that was on? I mean, they had to be on purpose, right? Yeah. They had that, to collaborate that, somehow. That, yes. Collaborate to messy with each other. You know yeah. I mean? <laughs> Work together to be great Yes. Yeah, to the I've, I've actually never really seen this many people turn out to an opposing game, you know what I mean? Same year, this like, is a packed state. Yeah, I know. Wow. We got everybody. Seems like Homville's kicking off the ball now. The kick, number 81. Caught by Destrahan. Destrahan's running it at the 20. He's at the 30 now. And he's down. Down at somewhere around the 32. Still waiting for the scoreboard to go up. <laughs> still, getting, still getting started. Though. First play of the game. Going to a very low. Desterhan having the ball at 32 yards. Quite a game. They're running the ball. Oh, but he's brought down at the 44. Desterhan gets the first down. Desterhan with the ball now. They snap it, handing it off again, going for the run. Oh, down at around the 40 to 47. Destrahan with the snap, running the ball again. Number 24 with the ball. Oh, and he's brought down again. Twenty-four with the ball again, running it. Oh, he makes a breakthrough. Oh, he's at the forty now. He's at the thirty. Oh, and he's brought down. Destrahan's able to get the first down, and a serious gain in yards. Seems to be a stop in the play. Desterhan with the snap. Number 24 again with the ball. He's making a serious run. He's brought down at around 21. Desterhan making quick work so far. See if they can score that touchdown. Yes, indeed. However, they're very close. Number four with the ball, 
with the fake handoff. They go for the throw, and it's a touchdown. Yes, oh, he dropped it. Incomplete pass. Four seems to run about what three plays already. That the five plays they've already been tried. They're using the running back. Ever. They are indeed, and they've made serious amount of yards yeah, with him. No doubt that they've actually done a very good job with him. As is going to be Shane Lee. Yes, Shane Lee. Destrian with the snap. We seem to have given it again to number 24. Is that a helmet? That's a helmet on the ground. Some player seems to be seriously injured. It's third down now. Most teams seem to be taking a small timeout for the injured player. Seems like they have been. Yes, it's third down now. It seems like the Wildcats had a penalty. Destrahan with the snap. They're running it. And number three with the ball, but he gets put down around the 31. I think Destrahan might be. Go for the field goal I don't know. Oh, I, to be going for it. I think Destrahan's going for a great move right now. Oh. Did they push back? Destrahan seems to be pushing back. Destrahan seems to have been pushed back five yards. Fourth and 19. Fourth and 19. <laughs> Yards, see if they can make that run. Or pass. Dexter with the kick. <laughs> Seems like the ball went out of bounds at the 20 yard line.
combo with the snap. They try to run into the ball. Oh! Oh. Uh, Mr. Hill does not appear to be giving him an itch at the moment. Seems like there's down at the 15. Second, maybe nine, I'd say. It's second down, da second down now, and the one. Six fifty left in the first quarter. Six minutes and fifty seconds left. Still zero zero, and the Tigers have about fourteen yards to go. Humble Tigers with a snap. He throws it to number ten, but he's brought down. Third down now. Seems to be a timeout right now. Third down now, Wildcats, the snap. Oh, but the ball goes over the QB's head. He gets the ball, but he's down. that we have gotten over our technical difficulties. My name is Caleb Shepard, and I will be joining you as the color commentary. Fourth and 26. Now, Caleb, I must ask for your opinion on that last play there. Oh, um, like struggle there. It does appear to, to be that way. Oh, humble with the ball. They kick it. Ooh. That's a punt. And Destrohan oh, catches God. it. Caught at around the 24. Now that's going to be a. That's going to be a very. That's not gonna have, they're not going to have very far to go to try and score this first touchdown. Let's see if they can make that happen. Indeed, the Fighting Wildcats can make it here. Let's see what happens. Deshaun with the snap. QB looking around. Oh, he sees a hole and he goes for it. Oh, and he's down, but there's a flag on the play. Holding. Offensive. So I'm to push it back about five yards, maybe ten yards? Yes. Five minutes left in the first quarter, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Anything can happen. 26 yards to go, but it is still a first down for the Destrehan Wildcats. Number four with the ball, 
He's scrambling. Oh, he's able to make a breakthrough at the 40, and he goes down at around the 35. Oh, I can see them pushing out the uh, the pink links there. Yeah, it, it appears, I'm not sure if anybody can see this, but it does appear that they are bringing out the pink links now, setting up at least. Yes, the pink links competition will be revealed <laughs> later today. <laughs> Actually very excited to see how that's going to work out. Same here. Who do you think? I have no idea. Same here. I know I contributed my part. Same here. Destrahan with the snap. They seem to be fumbling with the ball there. And 96 on the Hallville team is able to recover it. First down, Hallville. I'm quite confused with what just happened there. What do you think? I, it's a football game early on. Anything can happen. Anything can happen in football. Team seem to be switching now, getting ready for the new setup. Yes, sure are. It's going to be first and ten, Hanville. Hanville with a snap. They seem to hand off the ball to number six, but he's brought down. That'll be Joshua Joseph. Yes. Seem, seem the fumble was recovered by 96, Trema Mitchell. Trema Mitchell, sorry for the Fighting Tigers. Four minutes left in the first quarter. Do you think that any scores might be made? Any touchdowns? I don't know, it's hard to say. This game is going either way so far. I have faith. Humble with the snap, they're running the ball. Ooh, but he's not able to get far before he's pulled down. Over. You know, Destrahan's band never ceases to amaze me. They always do a very good job. They always stay in very good time. And it's very cool to see Hanville's band over there, too. I can hear both of them playing on third, on third downs. So I can each hear them respectively playing. It is indeed. The score is still 0-0 with 3 minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Tigers with the ball. Tigers with snap, number 11, their QB. He sees a hole and he's going for it, but he's brought down around the 38. Ryan Gregson. Does seem, does seem that Hanville is not going to go for the fourth down and said opting to punt it. Yes, they sure are. Lining up here. Oh, my. A failed snap, but Hanville is still able to kick the ball. He gets the ball. Estrahan gets the ball at the 35, running at the 40 now. He's at the 50, he's at the 40, he's at the 30, he's at the 20, he's at the 10, and it's a touchdown, Estrahan Wildcats, but there is a flag on the play. Now I am very curious to see if this is going to be an allowed touchdown or not. Let's see. Maybe he set that of bounds at some point, we do not know. Never mind, it's a touchdown, Destrahan Wildcats. Oh 
Score right now is Desterhand 6, Hanville 0. Ooh, and there seems, seems to be some fireworks. Now that is certainly interesting. Curious to see if, if uh, Hanville scores. I'd like to see if they have any fireworks. Well, it's the extra point now. I didn't... It's about two minutes left on the clock. Dexterham with the snap, kick, and it's good. Scores it's going to score 7-0. Seven seven zero. Dexterham in the lead. Number 34, Caleb Johnson, about to kick. The kick. Ooh. Dexter, Tigers with the ball now. They're running it. And he's down at around 22. That was number five with the ball. It's going to be Dakota Williams. Bill now with the ball. They snap it. And they're down. 25. Oh, there's a flag on the play. Here's that Hanville as, uh, is being pushed back. It's going to make it uh, second and let's see if the scoreboard change here. Looks going to be second and eight. Stalling on the play. Oh, they're going to be second and 18, unfortunately. Hanville oh, with a snap. Oh, it's a fake. They throw the ball, and Hanville oh, has the ball, but he's brought down at the 25. We're coming up just in about one minute now. It's actually going to bring us back. It's going to bring us back at third and eight.
Hanville with the snap. Number 11 throws the ball. Oh. Hanville with the ball. He's at the 35. He's at the 40 now. But he's brought down. That would be enough to get to the first down, I believe. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's going to make it first and 10 right about the 42-yard line. I'll go with the snap. Oh. Well, the ref is, ref's whistles are blown. That's going to bring it into the first quarter. Heading into the second quarter, we have Destre at 7, Hanville 0. So what do you think about Hanville's current position right now, Caleb? Well, I believe it's still early in the game, and I believe anything can happen. And I, do believe, I do believe Destrehan, if they may keep their lead, Hanville may make somewhat of a comeback. Who knows? I mean, it is the great game of American football. Oh, yes, sir. Certainly not a boring first quarter. We saw a few very memorable plays. Be hard about 37 yard line. Second and 15. Hallville with a snap. Number 11, he's looking. Oh, he's running the ball instead. Oh, and he slides at, the, at around the 36. Bring us up to three, third, and seven. Hodville. Hodville with the snap. Number 11 with the ball. He lobs it. Oh, but it's incomplete. So we get fourth down. Or do you think they're going to go for it or do you think they're going to punt? I don't know. I'd say it's safe to say that they're going to punt. And that appears to be what they're doing. It appears to be that they're switching the lineup up. I think they're going to kick it. Hanville with the kick. Ooh. And it goes far, far. It bounces, it bounces. And it's down. Down at the one yard line. Or the two. We just got a minute down in the second quarter. It's sitting at 10 59 left.
Palmville. Well, Destrahan currently in their own end zone. It's a very dangerous position to be in. They throw the ball, but it's incomplete. It's Would have been a very impressive pass if, if complete. But however, they're going to have to the same yard line. Destrahan with the snap. They try to run it, but it doesn't seem like they could get Looks far. about a five yard gain or so. All right, so make that, it's gonna make that third and six. Destrahan snapping the ball. Number four throws it. Ooh, and they're able to get the pass. Is that enough to make that four. a first down? Just before the first down, yes. sadly. And they get a fourth and one. Now that's a very interesting spot. Now they can run it and try to get that one yard, but if they don't make it, Harville will be getting the ball at a very advantageous position. I think it's very fair to say that they will be putting it at this time. Rightly so. However, I think they're kicking it. Yeah. Destrian with the snap. Kicker kicks it. Bounces it around the 35. And it's down. It's going to be right around the 39 yard line where Hanville is not taking the ball. Now let's see if Hanville can make something happen here. They are on, uh, they are on Destra's hand side. Let's see if they can t eat, tie the score up in the second quarter before we go into the, uh, into the uh, break. Serious yards with that one. Balls at the 20 yard line. That's gonna make it a first and 10. I do not believe that is the receiver good. runs out. Now this is an interesting position. Hanville very obviously wants to tie the score, and they've been having some decent momentum now, but can they keep that up in the final yards? Second down now. Still 7-0. Destran with the lead with 9 minutes and 35 seconds remaining. Hanville with a snap. Oh, and they're trying to run it. Ooh. When he goes down at the 20 yard line. Hanville seeming to not have been able to move past that 20 yes, yard I, line. Yes, I do believe that'll be a third and 10. Indeed it will be.
on Bill with the snap. Oh, number 11 looking. He tries to throw. He's, the receiver isn't able to catch it. That's going to make it fourth and 10 for the incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. Humble with the kick, and it's good. You get field goal. It's gonna break up the score just a little bit. We're gonna have Destrahan seven, Hodville three. Be hard rolls number 81, suit to kick. Hanville getting ready. The whistle. And the kick. Dastraham recovers it. He's at the 10 now. He's running. He's at the 20 now. Oh, he's running, he's at the 40, he's at the 50, he's at the 40, the 30 again, the 20, the 10, and touchdown, Destrahan, Wildcats, wow. And just like that, Destrahan, Wildcats are able to recover from that field goal. Now that's something you don't see very often, you very rarely do see a kickoff end up in a touchdown. Indeed you do, that is quite, quite a great run you did. Very impressive. Indeed. That's definitely going to go in somebody's highlights. Yep, <laughs> sure will be. Oh, but there seems to be a call on the play. Oh. Oh, oh it's been reversed. Never mind. Now that is definitely a controversial decision. Seems like the crowd is... The crowd is... Nestorhan's side of the crowd is not pleased with this. They are not. They're booing. Yeah, and the, the Hanville cheerleaders are, of course, dancing. They are upset. Oh, my. Seems to be the... Seems to be that the ball's at the 18-yard line. That's a great leap. First and ten, Destrahan. Destrahan with the snap. They're trying to run the ball now. Player with the ball. Oh! He's brought down. Now even a, even a reverse on that touchdown cannot bring them down. That's still good. That's a very solid run there. Indeed it is. About, let's say about 20 yards game. Somewhere there, yeah. Hand now again. Quarterback seems Looking to be trying pass. to throw the ball. He throws it. Oh, and it's caught. The 40 yard line. Got around the 40. Desterhand really making up from being all the way back at the 18 now. With an excellent run and an excellent pass. In just two plays, they've been to cover most of the field. Ooh.
Yeah, it does appear that uh, Hondville has call a timeout. Reevaluating their plays and trying to get water to some of their players. Score still 7-3 with eight minutes remaining. Destrahan in the lead. And that's certainly keeping the game interesting. That's a, I believe that's two, I believe, touchdowns that have been reversed. Oh, yes, that is true. Keeping, the, keeping every single person watching on the tips of their toes. Yes, ref seems to be, ref seem to be very alert this game. See, they gave up that momentum. Destran with a snap, number four, the quarterback. Oh, he sees a hole in the line, and he's running. Oh, but he's brought down around the 33. Oh, 27. And that'll be first and 10, Wildcats. Destrahan with the snap. They're running the ball again. Oh, number 21 able to go through. And he's brought down at the 10 yard line. Oh, very, very close to another touchdown. Maybe they could uh, bring back to that 13 3. They sure are. That penalty hasn't stopped them from getting closer to the end zone. Oh, they snapped the ball again. Mm. Seems to be down. Destrahan number four, four back with the ball, he's running it, and he's able to get through. Touchdown, Destrahan Wildcats. Brings the score back up to 13 to three. Destrahan with a 10 point lead, six minutes and 40 seconds to go. What was your opinion on that, Caleb? I think that it's uh, that's two touchdowns for Destrahan. That's uh, got a field goal for Hanville. I love to see the fireworks they got going on here. But it is still the second half. It is still the first half of the game. We still have halftime and all the two quarters after that. And yes. the six minutes and 43 seconds left on the second quarter. Yes, indeed. Don't forget really the pink link showing at halftime. Now let's see if they can, uh... Good. So they get 14. Destrahan, Hanville 3. Destrahan with the kick. Ooh, and he goes far. It's caught by Hanville. Hanville with the ball at the 20 yard line. Oh, and brought down, seems to be the 24 yard line.
Oh. Oh. Uh, Onville trying to run the ball, but they don't get very far. See if you get about three yards, four yards, maybe. Oh, no. Actually, they seem to have gone back one. Oh, I apologize for that. Let's make it second and 11. Oh, Bill with a snap. They throw the ball, but it is really far out. Incomplete pass. That's the way up to third and 11. Hanville needs a good play to make up 11 yards, get them that first down to keep it the ball on their side. Hanville with the snack. They got to throw the ball. Oh, oh almost picked off by Nesterham player number 21. That was very close, but it's dropped. That's going to make it that fourth and 11. Punting the ball. Oop, but it bounces out. This will make them very right even at the 50 yard line. now with the ball at the 50 yard line, first and 10. Five minutes and 40 seconds to go, the first half. All right, we'll Dester hand with the ball, they're running it, Ooh. and he gets 24. far. Yeah, that's gonna, definitely gonna be a first down for Dester hand. First down, Howard oh, Harris, there's a flag. flag. Lots of flags being called on today's game. Sure are. It's a very heated game. Yes. Some, uh, some room to breathe, they're going to be going up farther. Mm. 
Jester hand with the ball. Seems like they get pushed up more. We're gonna be at the 20. No, 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 no. We're gonna be at. He's gonna put the run to about the 24 yard line. Sure. Jester hand with the snap. They hand it running. off. Oh, he finds all, and he's running, and he's running. Ooh, and he gets it. Desterhand tires. Desterhand Wildcats with a touchdown. That's going to bring the score to Desterhand 20, Hanville 3. A touchdown will be gotten by Brandon Freeman, number 23. Destrand with the kick. Oh, doinked off the pole. Nope. No good. That's going to keep the score at Destrand 20, Hanville 3. Wow, you don't see that a lot. Missed. Yeah, and it's not, not just missed, just barely hit the post. Barely Utah did. Shake. Doinked off. They're the Destrahan flag runners right now on the field. Just about five minutes left in the second quarter here before we run to halftime. Hey, boys. Destran now with the kick. And he kicks it. Ooh. Goes pretty far at the 10-yard line now. Pondo with the ball. The running. Running. Oh. 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 Seems like. Oh. Refs call it down at around the 32. There were 66 appeared to have just gotten pushed out of the little pack there. He did? Yeah. It was kind of like a tug of war there. Yeah, yeah. They were trying to push him back as far as they could. Yeah. Ball at the 34. Tigers, first and 10. Tigers with the snap. Oh, and they hand it off. Oh, they don't gain any yards and brought down. That's gonna keep the that's gonna keep on the line at about a 34 yard line. Tigers with the ball. Snap it. QB right now, he's looking. Oh! Ooh. Number one almost catches the ball, but is, <laughs> drops it.
Number 11 with the ball. He uh, throws it. Oh, but it's dropped. Incomplete pass. So to keep this. In case of our fourth and 11. On oh, Bill switching out the players now to kick the ball. snap. Kicker kicks it. Ooh. Goes to about the 30-yard line. Yeah. But there is a flag on the play. Here's so put National right at the 25 yard line. Oh. Oh, the 15 yard line, I'm sorry. Best ran with the snap. Oh, spot down. Destran has the ball at the 15, about nine yards to go. But it's fourth down. Seems like they'll be kicking it. Timeout has been called. We're back. Oh my goodness. Fails. Failed snap. And he's down at the 10. Oh, 
Desterham with a failed snap there. Having to run back for the ball into their own end zone, unable to kick it and down. It was nice to be first to hit for Hanville. Now this is an opportunity for Hanville. This is a chance for them to score. They've been handed this. It sure is. If they can play their cards right, they might be able to get a touchdown and be in range of beating the Wildcats. Being only 10 yards away from the, uh, the touchdown, they can almost taste it. They need it. If they can get this before we go into uh, halftime, this could give us some kind of chance. This could give Hanville some kind of chance. Sure, sure will. Hanville players getting ready. Hanville with the snap. Ooh, and there's a flag on the play immediately. Flag on the play. That's going to make that second and nine now. Humpville with the snap. They throw it. Oh, and it's a complete. Ooh. They're unable to catch it. So to bring that to uh, third and oh, no, 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 second and 14, I apologize. Oh, Hanville oh, with the snap. He's scrambling a bit. He's panicking. Oh, and he's sacked by Destrahan at the 20 yard line. Now, this is not looking too good for Hanville scoring at this point. So he's going to be pushed back. Destran's defense trying as hard as they can to keep Hanville out of the end zone. Destran defense like a stone wall stopping the Tigers from getting anywhere. Hanville with the snap. Oh, he's looking. Dastrahan player tries to jump, but. Hanville player tries to throw the ball, but he's unable to connect with anybody. And there appears to be a flag on the play, actually. Bill having to go for the field goal. They kick it. Oh, and it's dinked off. That's going to keep the score. Destrahan 20, Hanville 3. With 44 seconds left to go, Hanville lagging behind. Okay, so. All right. They can't. 
Oh, Bill with the snap. Oh, Destran with the snap. Ooh. I can see the uh, players getting a little bit uh, tense and hot as they're going into the, into the halftime. Both teams very much do want this win. Flag. Flag on the play. Looks like he's going to go ahead and push Destrahan back a little bit. That was a false start on the play there. Said about five yards, I'd say. About five. Yes, that's going to go ahead and make that second and ten at the 20 yard line. Tries to run the ball. He's brought down. That's going to be 10 seconds left on the first half of the Battle of the River game. And it appears that this play is just going to bring us into uh, halftime. And there we are. It's now half the time. Battle of the River is now in halftime. Majestran at 20 points, Holmville at 3. This is going to give us the opportunity to find out who has won the Pink Link competition to raise funds for cancer research. teams going to the locker room here. Both, this is not a closed out game yet. Both are going to be going to these locker rooms looking to change the game in the second half. Destray has been looking to defend their score and Honville is going to be looking to make a comeback and catch up. Now the Destrahan Bam, Desky Darlings, and Honville High Steppers will perform a halftime show.
show you the uh, satellite. She's not going to follow up with us, and he's going to end up in the plots where he always ends up at, and she ain't going to go get him. Oh, yeah. And you can tell mom she's more than welcome to go over there and get him, but she's not going to. But, all righty. ticket gate, the patient made their way to the truck. I was giving Haley the charger and I was like, EMS is out here, what are the hell that we called for? We're going to let the gift that this weekend is the annual Alligator Festival. The Alligator Festival is hosted by the Rotary Club of St. Charles Parish to fundraise for college scholarships or to our local youth. Enjoy live alligators, tin bands, carnival rides, hazy cuisine, fat boots, and more. There's still time to get there tonight. The festival is open until 11 p.m. Tomorrow, the festival will run from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And Sunday, the festival is from 11 to 9 a.m. Yeah. So this is like... Alligator Festival, this weekend. Clip me, you didn't clip.
check out the 50 50 chicken. The winning chicken tonight is worth $840. Yes, sir. The winning chicken number is 
We're back with Press the Play Productions. I'm Kata LeBay. And I'm Caleb Shepard. And now we have the Pink Links competition. From two rivals, one mission, the Pink Links competition is funding cancer research. That was pretty good. I thought I liked that. That was good. It's, it's always so cool to see like them bring it out and everything. I mean, yes. This is all going to fund a great cause. It will be. Cancer research is one that needs a lot of funding. And, well, thankfully, both sides have been able to put in a lot of time and effort into that. Oh, yeah. Look how many people it takes just to, I mean, on, on both sides, it takes so many people just to stretch it out. Sure does. And one can only imagine the amount of effort it takes to staple all those little pink links together. Hmm. Still marching it out here. They are still going. Wow. That's just, it's, it shows how much people care. It really does. It's bringing this rivalry into a good cause. You know, it's like each side wants to beat each other, so it's like, oh, let's give as much money as we can. Sure is. <laughs> Both teams starting to walk backwards now. Man, and this really is a super long line. Mm. Thousands of pink links. Thousands of dollars. Thousands, indeed. Westerhand High School seems to have won the Pink Links competition oh, this yeah. year. <clears throat> Hand seems to have raised a total of $10,281.62, while the West Bank has raised a total of $9,790.59. It's going to bring the total to $20,072.62 for an amazing cause. That's a 
great deal of money going into cancer research. Oh, yeah. No, it'd be amazing if this is actually the, the last amount that cured it, huh? Yeah. That looks like they're starting to drag the uh, big links off of the field, getting ready for the uh, getting ready for the third quarter. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the robotics team is using their little robot to <laughs> to shoot T-shirts at people. They sure are. That's a cool robot. It is pretty cool. Nah, it's, it's just it's a testament how long it takes them to get those pink links off the field. That just shows how dedicated that this community is. I almost want to go down there and get one myself, man. Yeah, I'm glad to have donated to that cause as well. Oh, yeah. I think if I go down there and ask them nicely, the robotics people, you know, have a shooter, shoot a shirt at me. Ask them nicely. Oh, yeah. Maybe they'll deliver one into the press box for us. <sighs> but I want a shirt. Same here. Oh, it seems like the Destroy and Wildcats are returning to the field now. Getting ready for the start of the third quarter. Now, once again, we're going to be going into this third quarter with Destrahan 20, Hanville trailing at three. All right. So, I'm going to be Caleb Shepard, and this is going to be... It's going to be Press to Play Productions. Oh. And your name would be? Yep. I believe your name does start with a C, yes? Yes, it's Kato. Yeah, there it is. And we'd like to take the time before this game starts to individually thank all of the cameramen and women and all the people working on Press the Play to make this game possible. Again, this is Press the Play Productions, and you can watch us at PressThePlay.tv, and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter.
Got about 35 seconds left on halftime. I can see everybody's just ready to get back into this game. Hand Wildcats now returning from halftime. That's gonna be it's gonna be number twenty eight, Bestrand, kicking the ball off to Hanville. Bestrand with the kick. Stop by Hanville. Past twenty yard line. Ooh. Just barely. Tigers are down at the thirty yard line. with the snap, they throw it. Oh, he dodges the first one, but he's brought down at the at around the 32nd yard line. It's now second down with about eight yards to go. Hanville with the snap. He's scrambling. Oh, and he's able to lob it off to number 10. Number 10 it goes out of steps out of bounds at around 35. Is that gonna read it to about what 35, I'd say? 35 to 36 yard line. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if we can go in and get the first get the first down. Yep. Just three yards to go. Hanville's preparing for another play. Although with the snap, and they hand it off to number nine. Ooh, runs. 
able to knock down a player with his shoulders. He gets down at the 45. That's going to be a first down. It's a first down for the Tigers. Now, if the Tigers are able to keep this, uh, this simple, I mean, they're not gaining you know, too much each play, at least so far. If they can just keep this up, they can run it all the way down. They'll eventually score, yes. yes. However, it's a matter of, it, of it. Consistency. Consistency and if the Destrehan Wildcats are going to stop them. Number 10 now with the ball. Longville Tigers. Oop. And he's brought down around 42. It's now second and 12. Number 11, the QB with the ball. He throws it, and it's picked exactly. off by Destrehan Wildcats. By Destrehan, number seven. Kevin Adams, number seven with the interception. Right around the 30, around the 30 yard line, I'd say, around there. Yeah, around the 30 yard so line. Let's get the exact number soon here. My, oh my, I wonder what the QB saw. Not so much there. Yeah, 33 yard line. Not what Hogville wanted to see. Yep, this is not the ideal play for Hogville. First and ten, Destrehan Wildcats. Destrehan with the snap. Oh, oh, almost blocked by. Hanville, but number 24 still catches it. He's able to run. Going? Oh my goodness. Took about five people to tackle him there. That's ran down at the 48 yard line. That got Destro Hands crowd all wild up. They like to see him moving. Destrehan with the snap. Number four throws the ball. Oh, it's caught. Ooh, and the gain about, gaining about mm, quite a bit of yards there. Second down. Destrehan with the snap again. They throw it. Ooh. And he's down around the 44. They got the gate open. Okay. How was it saying? I just tell him that said Chinese. ran with the snap again. Number four with the ball, the fake handoff. He's running it. Ooh. Brought down pretty hard at around the 27 yard line. See though, Destrehan's offense is able to keep that momentum going. They're able yeah. to keep it, keep it moving. Close to the end zone every, consistently every single play. Indeed they are. Destrehan keeps the ball moving and keeps it running. First down and 10, Destrehan. Number four with the snap, he's looking to throw it. He throws it. Ooh. And it's picked off. Oh. Very nearly another interception. Very that close been, That would have been something to see. Our it's pass incomplete. Very lucky for Destrehan right mm -hmm. there. Four with the ball, he hands it off. Oop! And the right back is able to see a hole. He go. He's dropped down at the ten. Helmet comes off too. 
I think that's the third helmet that's come off. This yeah, game. a lot of helmets have been thrown off this game. It just shows how, how much force they're putting into this game. Oh yeah, both sides are quite heated. Off. And ooh, man, just inches. Inches. Looks like it's gonna be a inches from. Oh. oh. That is first and inches. Looks like someone might be injured. A Hanville player. Hanville player down on the field. It looks like he will walk away. That's going to leave it at first and one. Something you don't see too often. And Destrahan with the running. Oh, number 24. Oh, and, and he's good. in. Touchdown, Destrahan fighting Wildcats. That brings the score up to 26 to three. Destrahan in the lead. And there's the fireworks. It's good. It's going to make the score of Destran 27, Hanville 3. Oh, more fireworks. Destran very happy that they won. Oh, yeah. They got fireworks and their flag runners out on the field. They're going all out. Sure are.
Destrahan now with the kick. Ooh. Bounces up a bit. It's recovered by Hanville. Oh, he's running now. Oh, my. Oh, he's going far. He's at the 40. Oh, he's going to run on the 50 yard line. Down to the 50 yard line. First and 10. Very good return. Seems like there was a flag on the play. And Hanville has been pushed back quite a bit. Destrahan's band seems to have a guitar in their uh, ensemble. He's, he's jamming out at the moment. Yeah. Ball seems to be moving a lot. First it was at the five, now it's at the, seems to be the 14 yard line. It's first and 10, Tigers have the ball. Tigers with the snap. QB's looking, and he passes the ball. Oh, oh. The receiver seems to have dropped the ball. However, he was down at the play. It's so now second down, four yards to go. Destrahan with the ball. Oh, Tigers with the ball. Throw it. But it is blocked by Destrahan. It's going to bring it to about third and five. Seems to be a timeout called. No. Oh, there must have been a touchdown call. We're not seeing the, uh, the game call on the scoreboard. 
doesn't seem to be stopping the crowd, though. They just seem to be enjoying themselves at the moment. At least on the Death Strand side, from what I can see. Oh, here comes the train. Oh, All right, we're back. Into the game. Tigers with the ball. Tigers with the snap. Quarterback is looking. Throws the ball. Ooh, incomplete pass. There it is. Fourth down, five yards to go. Uh, I highly doubt they're going to try and go for this fourth down here. Yeah, the QB's plans were foiled. Tigers with the kick. It is down around the 49. That's going to put that train just one yard away from being on the Honda side. They're encroaching out of the territory at the moment. They're obviously looking to score again. See if they can get that number up. Indeed. Destrahan quite literally in the middle of the field. Hoping to gain some serious yards this play. First and ten. Destrahan with the snap. And the running. Oh. And he's at, he was uh, thrown out of bounds at around the 35 yard line. That is going to get Destra Hand that first down. It's going to bring them even closer to the end zone. Destra Hand handing the ball off again. Ooh. It seems like he's down at the line of scrimmage. 35 yard line. Now it is second and 10. Destrahan with the snap. Ooh. Ooh, they throw the ball. Oh, stiff arm that that the Longville player. Is that the 10 now? And that's a touchdown. Wow. Now that was a good trick play. I wasn't even seeing that there. I was not expecting that. Yeah. And obviously it worked. It did. For, For a, a second there. Defense. For a second there, I thought he was down, but he put yeah. his arm out and blocked the the Hanville player. Now that's going to go ahead and put Destrahan up into the 30s at 33 and Hanville 3. Threes all across the board, literally. Yes, indeed. With four minutes and 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Destran with the hike. And the kick is good. That's going to change that. That's going to be Destran 34, Hanville 3. About four minutes, 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Every second we see is Hollandville's losing their chance to try to make a comeback.
Destrahan with the kick. Longville catches the ball. Trying to return the ball. Ooh. Oh. He's down. I almost thought there was going to be a flag on the play for a second there. Yes. Longville with the snap. Oh. Not going to make it too far, however. No, they are not. Lost some yards there. It's now second seven, down. 12, I'd say. Second and 13, actually. Second down, 13 yards to go. About four minutes left in the game. Well, for the third quarter. Third quarter, sorry. Yes, third quarter. snaps it. Quarterback looks. Oh, it's swatted down lead. by the Destrehan D-line. Destrehan defense has been on top of their game today. They really have been. They've been stonewalling mm. the Hanville team a lot. He's going to bring it to third down, 13. So got Almost it. Almost dropped the ball there. Hallville now at the 40. Oh, but he's down at the 45. Now that was very nearly an incomplete or even a fumble. Yeah. But he was able to keep it. And, or an incomplete pass, And, and yeah. for sure get the first down. For Something sure. I wasn't expecting. with the snap. Number 11, handing off the ball. Ooh, the Tigers don't get far. In fact, they might have gotten pushed back. Yep. Well, I'm seeing some tension around the field. Yeah, there sure seems to be. Temper's a little high with this rival game. Now, how do you think the game's going so far? I think it's definitely an entertaining game. I would definitely say that it's, it's not a boring one, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was a little afraid going this game that it might just be just back and forth, back and forth, not a lot of score, but it's nice to see that there's actually some movement with the ball going through. Same here. I like to see a lot of action. Yeah, that's what I'm, getting. That's what I'm saying. Especially for such a big game as this. Sure is. Montville with the snap now. Number 11, handing off the ball. Montville trying to run it. Number 13, he's brought down at the 40-yard line. I'm not too sure if he gained any there. Same here. It's now third down, 11 yards.
Palmville with the snap. Oh. Running the ball now. Oh, he's brought down at the 50-yard uh, line. I think that's going to make the first down. I think that'll be enough. It'll be close. Yeah, it will be definitely be close. If not, it'll be an end of one. And that will leave Palmville in an interesting position. Oh, I think that might be a fourth and one. Fourth and one it is. Now that's very interesting. They're right around the 50-yard line, actually exactly at the 50-yard line. Now I'm really am interested to see if they're going to try and go for this here. Same here. Because if they don't, it's a turnover right there. But if they do, they can keep going. Yep. You All know, they need I, is one yard. I figure they might as well do it. I think that's what they're going for. I think so. It doesn't seem like... See if the coaches have faith. Yep. Oh, and they've called a timeout on Hanville's side. Now they really want to make sure they are certain in their decision for this. They really are. They are sending their 18. Yeah. Now I do believe they are going to go for it. I just believe they're trying to figure out what they're going to do. Same here. They I don't need see it. why they wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. They do need this play. They need this play. Seems like the Tigers are ready. They snap it. Ooh. Number 11 with the ball. Hands it off to number 13. He's able to get through. Oh. He's going to oh, keep going. My. He's going. And he's out of bounds. And that is certainly going to get them the first down. Yes. First down indeed. First at the 39. Ten yards to go. Hombo with the ball. But is, 44 uh, seconds on the clock. Looks like number 7 on Destrahan's side. Doesn't appear to be getting up. Forty-four seconds left on the clock in the third quarter. Hanville looking to make a move here. Hallville with the handoff. 40-yard line now. He's running. Oh, he's oh, going to break. He's, gonna, he's getting through. Oh, and he's down at the 30-yard line. That's a very line. good push. Very good. He's able to mm. push through the defense there a bit. It's first and 10 around the 29, I say. Yeah. I'd say right about maybe the, maybe the 30 there. 28 yards, exactly. Now, this is tight. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Really is. Let's see if they can score before that runs out. Yes, Number 11, passes and the ball. It's complete. Oh, and he's complete. Oh, and he's ever find a hole. Oh, three down. seconds left in the third the quarter. Line. But there's a flag on the play. Oh, Let's see what's going on there.
Seems like it was a 10 yard penalty. About, but it's still first down. Tigers with the ball. That's gonna put them at first and 18. Wow. I think they need a serious play here. Ford will switch over to the other side. Pull out the switch over to the other uh, end zone. Yeah. On the with the snap. Oh. Number 11 looking to run it. Number 11, the QB. He's running the ball now. Oh. He runs out of bounds. Decent gain there. Not a first down, but first down. substance nonetheless. And that's the end of the third quarter. Moving into the last quarter of the game with Descrehan 34, Hanville 3. Hanville with the fourth quarter and a dream to win it all. Meanwhile, Descrehan trying to secure their victory. I'll go with the ball now. Oh, they're running. Oh. Oh, it's brought down. And that's going to bring them close at the, for the third down. Maybe third and three. Around that area. I can keep a third and five. Yeah. On Bill with the snap. Number 11 looks to throw it. Oh, he hands it right to number six. Toss. Looks like he actually knocked the uh, marker down. Yep. It's to be number 11. See? Number 11. Number 11. That will be a first and ten for Hanville. Let's see if they can try to make a score here with almost 16 yards to go. Hanville, the handoff. Ooh, it's brought down. Destrahan with uh, Hanville with the snap. Oh, but he's sacked. That's a nasty sack. Sacked by number. Number 91. Jerry McCall with the sack. We 
get third and 20. Longville trying to hand the ball off again to number nine. Ooh. He stopped. Looks like it's going to be for certainly a fourth down. Going for the fourth down here. See if they can make that 15 yard comeback. Ooh, number 11 with the ball. Looks like he's going to run it, but he doesn't get far. Seems to have been a false start there. So now first down. I'll build the snap. No, wait, Destrahan does not look like they're getting very far. Destrahan with the snap. Well, that's our flag on the play. Yeah, looks like it. Hand with the snap. Number four with the ball. He throws it. And how's that complete? Mm. Incomplete. Yeah, it's like incomplete. So now second and ten. Dexter hand with the ball. Hand with the snap. They're running the ball. Oh, at the 35 yard line. He's still running. Oh, but he's slammed down by Hanville. And Hanville's defense dragged him down. He sure did. Down at the 39. First down and 10. Fine Wildcats. Your hand with the snap. They're running the ball now. Oh, he gets the 50 yard line, but it's tossed out. And this in this last quarter is certainly trying to make that score up to a 40, at least. They sure are. They're trying their hardest. Ooh. 
Destran with the snap there. Number three with the ball now. He's running it. Oh. oh. And he's right down. Right down for the 50. Not getting too much on that play. But, you know. I'm losing a bit. Still got three more to go. Sure do. Eight minutes left on the clock. Vesterhan up 34. Hanville with three. Destrahan with the snap. They throw the ball. Ooh, and he runs it. He's at the 50 now. He's at the 40. Oh, and he gets to the 30, and he's brought down. Very good play by Destrahan. Very good, good play. Destrahan's offense has consistently got the entire game. It's like they go one or two plays not gaining much, and they get a play like this where they gain 15, even 20 yards. Sometimes even more than that. Very true, very true. They're able to consistently gain a large amount of yards. Yeah, that's why they're able to build as high of a score as they are. Sure can. A strong defense to boot as well. Mm. First and ten, Destrahan with the ball. <laughs> Destrahan with the snap. Oh, he's running the ball. He's brought down around the 20-yard line. Gaining nine yards. Second down, one yard to go. Twenty yards left to them, possibly able to get a touchdown. Destrahan with the snap, We're running it to number three. Oh, gets to the 10, oh, and the five. Six minutes left on the clock on Bill 3. Destrahan 34 with the ball. First down, first and goal. Four yards to go until Destrahan can make it at to 40 points. Sure. That's if they do not make a field, or, yeah, a field goal or a conversion. It is true. Destrahan with the ball, getting ready. A snap, number three with the ball. Oh, oh, never mind. Fake handoff, but he misses the throw. Number four, hands it off to number three, who makes the easy score for Destrahan. And yep, 
It's going to be Destrahan 40, Hanville 3. With 5 minutes and 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Destrahan seems to hold ahead by a great lead. Yep. 37 points. And there goes the fireworks. Yep. with a kick, and it's good. That'll make it Destrand 41. That'll make it Hanville 3. Hanville will not have the ball. This is going to lead Dutch Trainer with the kickoff. Number 28 with the kickoff. And he kicks it. And touch back. Right, put them in the 20 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Homeville Tigers. with the snap. He's running it. Ooh, slam down. Destran is still not budging it at, at all if they can. They're making sure they want to secure this as cleanly as possible. Sure do. He's down the 23-yard line. Second, seven yards to go. Homeville with the ball. Ooh, and there's some more fireworks. More fireworks. Bill ready. Snap the ball. Hand off to number nine. And he's tackled. Now third down with two yards to go. Homville with the ball. Homville with the snap. Oh. Number thirteen with the ball. Yeah, decent run. Ooh. Decent run. She gets the first run. down. They're able to get the first down, but the brought down.
Long ball with the snap. Oh, the running into the number 13. But he's brought, but he's tackled. That strange crowd is still, still amped up. They want to see this game all the way through. They really do. Still getting this game. With just three minutes and 20 seconds left. On the with the ball at three points, while Destran at 41. On the with the snap. Hands it off to number 13. He's running it. Mm. Ooh, he makes a decent run. That's a good run. Oh, very nice run. At the 40-yard line now, around there. First and 10. Three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Three minutes left. Bumbo with the snap. Oh, and they hand it off. And they're running, but quickly tackled by the Destrahan defense. Off with the snap, number 11 throwing the ball. That's a deep throw. Ooh, deep throw. And that's going to be a complete. And it is That's going to bring that to a third and 10 with 147 left on the clock. Game very nearly wrapping up here. Bill with the snap, and he hands it off to his player. Ooh, Ooh he is might have been dragged a, out. Yeah, that was a. They lost a decent number of yards on that one, four or five yards, lost maybe, possibly. Quite a bit of yards on that one. Yeah, that's gonna be a. They might as well go for the fourth. Yep. They're gonna have to go for it if they want any chance of winning. Now one minute and less than 10 seconds left on the clock. Time just running down at this point. Fourth and 15. I'm sure they're, oh, timeout maybe? Timeout called. At the exact one minute uh -huh. mark. Hallville with the snap. And they're kicking kick. it. 
And kick it. And... Yep. 50 seconds off on the clock. First and 10. That's going to be Destrahan's ball. And this might be the last turnover of the game. This might be wrapping up Battle of the River. So, Kata, how are you feeling about this game? Ooh, it was a good game. I will say that. Quite a lot of action. A little bit of goofs on both sides of the team. Both teams could have played better. However, I think it was a solid game in the end. Yeah, Nice your hand's just going to run the clock out on this one. See if they kneel. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they are. Sure are. Yep, time just keeps going down. And that seems to be game. Yeah, they seem to have just called it there. Yep. Destrahan with 41, and Homeville with three. Yeah, certainly a very fun game. Certainly a very fun Certainly home. a pleasure. Like I said, I'll press the play. Yes. Everybody who made this live stream possible. We'll bring the game to you guys. Watch the next live stream. Watch the next live stream. Press the play TV. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Yep. Fireworks going off. Everyone celebrating. Well, not everybody, but people celebrating. It's always nice to see that they have the players at the end shake hands with each other, you know. Good sportsmanship and all that. Now the Destrand and Homville players are shaking hands. All right, that's just about do it for us. In the end, my name is Caleb Shepard. And I'm Kayla LeBay. And we will see you guys next time.